New discoveries imply man arrived in the Americas 26,500 years ago. Archaeologists live for evidence, the kind of concrete, absolute evidence that proves theories and gives them solid reasons for believing one set of ideas over another. But often, they must live with less than firm evidence of a theory or hypothesis because there's only a limited amount of proof of previous times extant in Earth. An Egyptian tomb, for example, may contain a mummy, but little else to confirm just who the remains are. For that knowledge, archaeologists must rely on their schooling and the lessons of those who excavated sites before them. But sometimes even the smallest object can constitute profound evidence to a scientist or archaeologist, and that may be the case with a discovery made deep within a cave in Mexico. The Chicoweet Cave, located high in the Estero Mountains, almost 2,000 artifacts were found during an excavation at the site in 2016 and 2017. These stone objects may have been used as tools for tasks like chopping and cutting, or even as early weapons. What's relevant is not just the existence of the many items, but when they were disposed of there, which could prove a new theory that man arrived in the Americas much earlier than previously believed. The archaeologist involved in the new study, Cyprian Ardelain of the Autonomous University of Zacatus, has postulated that these, not 13,000 years ago, which is the assumed timeline based on evidence collected at various sites across North America thus far. If Ardelain is correct, and if he can gather enough evidence to validate his theory, it will profoundly alter what science, history, and archaeology have collectively postulated about man's evolution in the Americas for decades. Ardelain readily acknowledges in a recent media interview that his theory is not yet proven and his colleagues may be reluctant to agree with his conclusions. This site alone can't be considered a definitive conclusion, Ardelain said recently. However, he argued when the find at Chicoweet Cave is added to other finds in North America, like those at Bluefish Cave in the Yukon and Galton, Texas, his theories became more compelling. Ardelain and his colleagues at the university have published a scholarly paper online, outlining their findings and explaining their hypothesis. Ardelain added during the interview that, when taken with other evidence gathered over the years, it's strong enough to favor a valid hypothesis that there were humans here before and almost certainly during the last glacial maximum. That refers to the time period when sheets of ice still covered vast amounts of the Earth's surface. Whatever it was that man arrived, the path he took is not in dispute. He crossed the Belgian land bridge and made his way from Siberia, though it took centuries, experts say. Could he have done so when so much ice remained over the Americas? That's still in question, but Ardelain's new evidence adds yet more information and intrigue to those theories. Still, other archaeologists have expressed doubt about the validity of Ardelain's findings, noting, for example, that all the relics found in the cave appear to have been fashioned from a single hit, almost as if they are simply stones that have fallen from the cave's ceiling and not man-made tools. Nor are there findings that confirm people lived in the cave, no evidence of domesticity, so to speak which is unusual considering it's so far up in a mountain range. The world is filled with stories going viral every single day. But how many of these sites can you actually follow? We understand that your day should start with positive stories, stories that resonate with you. And so we started JoJo Stories. Our mission is to create meaningful stories that cover everything from animals to anthropology, history to environment and lifestyle. The kind of content you read on our site will be one you'll want to share with your family and friends. We hope you'll join our growing family and be part of our community. Welcome to JoJo Stories, jojostories.com.